Hey guys, Mr. O'Brien here. And in this video, we're going to look at the role of enzymes as a catalyst in regulating a specific biochemical reaction. So this is part four of your topic two organic chemistry chapter. And we're focusing on a very important thing in enzymes. Again, enzymes are extremely important and a lot of kids don't understand them completely. So when we're talking about a bio or a biological catalyst, we're talking about um, something that is occurring in living things. Now, life could not exist without enzymes. If enzymes were not present, living things wouldn't be around. So enzymes are biological catalysts, meaning they speed up biochemical reactions. So enzymes are enzymes they speed things up so that life is able to exist, and without them, nothing would. Now, most chemical reactions within organisms would be impossible under the conditions. Our body temperature is, is too low for reactions to occur quick enough because the warmer something is, the faster the molecules move and the more likely are to bounce into each other. So our bodies have too low of a temperature to occur fast enough, so we need enzymes. So the rate of most biochemical reactions must be increased by the catalyst. And catalyst is a chemical that speeds up that chemical reaction. In organisms, we call this an enzyme. So really, enzymes and catalysts are the same thing. The only difference is enzymes are in living organisms. So the things that we like to look at in our body because we're studying biology. Now, how do enzymes speed up these reactions so dramatically? And what they do is they lower something called the activation energy. The activation energy is the energy needed to start a chemical reaction. So if we're looking at the reaction without an enzyme, okay? So without an enzyme, look how much activation energy is required to start the chemical reaction. Without an enzyme, you see that activation energy is dramatically lower. So by lowering that activation energy, it is allowed to proceed faster. A good analogy I like to use is think about somebody pushing a boulder up a mountain, right? It's steep, it's hard, it's difficult, but once you get it over the top, it crashes down to the bottom with our products. So think about that by lowering the hill. The lower the hill, the less energy you need to put into it until it gets to the bottom. So with an enzyme, you input less energy into the system. Now, enzymes generally lower the activation energy by reducing the energy needed for reactants to come together and, and react. For example, enzymes bring reactants together so they don't have to expand energy moving around searching for that perfect collision to occur. So the substrates here, they uh, are brought together by the active site of the enzyme or it's a perfect fit. They perfectly fit in there, meaning it creates a location for the chemical reaction to occur because they fit so closely together. Now, enzymes bind both reactant molecules called the substrate tightly and sp specifically at a site on the enzyme called the active site. Again, this lowers the amount of energy needed for that reaction to occur. So enzymes also position uh, reactants correctly. So in other words, it puts them in the perfect place for those bonds to occur inside of that. Now, the active site is specific to one biochemical reaction. In other words, for one enzyme, it can perform one reaction. So this is similar to a, a puzzle pieces fitting together or a key slipping into a lock. The active site can only bind certain substances. Think about it. Uh, for the, like the lock going into your door, only one type of key will fit that lock, just like only one reaction or one substrate can fit into that. So this is kind of how it works. So here's our substrate here, and you'll notice that the shape of the substrate is the exact same shape as the active site. So this would be our key, 
this would be our lock. The key fits perfectly into the lock, the reaction occurs, and the product forms, and the enzyme is released. Now the thing about the thing about enzymes is they are able to be reused. So in other words, when the chemical reaction occurs, the enzyme is not destroyed. They're left behind so that they can be reused over and over again, and the body doesn't need to be continuously making them. So hopefully this helps you out in showing you how enzymes uh, support life, how they uh, aid in biochemical reactions in your body, because without enzymes, life does not exist. So hopefully this helps you out. Again, this is Mr. O'Brien signing off.